Diplox Listeners presents a guide to indefinite leave to remain on the basis of a long residence after a period of 10 years. While some of the information here will be applicable to other types of indefinite leave to remain applications, this should not be taken as a given and if you do need advice specifically regarding a five year route for example, please subscribe for more videos. Put it simply, if you've been living in the UK legally for a period of 10 years or more, you may be able to apply for indefinite leave to remain on this basis. Bear in mind, depending on the reasons for your visa, you may have other routes available for your private life or as the basis of a partner. In any event, 10 years of continuous legal residency in the UK will make you eligible for indefinite leave to remain in most circumstances. At the time of recording this video, the fee for an indefinite leave to remain application is £2,389 per person. The eligibility requirements for making this application are simply that you've been in the UK legally for 10 years without any gaps. This is known as continuous residence. If you are aged between 18 and 65, you must pass the Life in the UK test and provide evidence of sufficient English language skills by passing a test from an approved UK provider. A list of providers will be in the link in the description. In terms of proving your continuous residence, this shouldn't be too difficult. You must make sure that you've never left the UK for more than 180 days at a time or for no more than 540 days in the total 10 year period. In other words, have your absences from the UK totaled more than 540 days in the 10 year period or have you ever left the UK for more than 180 days at a time? If you haven't done any of these two things, you should be fine in terms of proving your continuous residence. The evidence that you'd have to provide for this application will always include your ID documents, so there's going to be passports, ID resident permits, biometric cards, anything which bears your photo ID and your name will need to be provided as a part of the application. The additional evidence you have to provide will depend on the nature of the claim. So if the basis for your claim is that you have a British partner, you'll have to evidence that. If it's that you have British children, likewise you'll have to evidence that and so on and so forth. There really is a wide range of reasons that someone might need to apply for indefinite leave to remain in order to stay inside the United Kingdom. The application itself is done online. Now naturally I always recommend that you take professional advice and seek a professional to do this. But by no means is this a complicated process or something that you necessarily need a solicitor to do for you. If you are working full time, if you have issues using computers, if you're just somebody who doesn't want to deal with the administrative side of making the application, then that's perfectly understandable and it may be well worth your while just instructing someone to handle it for you. But like I say, the application is online and I will include a link in the description of this video. At the end of the application, you'll be given a documents checklist and you'll also be contacted with credentials for you to provide your documents to an online portal. You must log in and up upload all your evidence. You must go through the checklist that you've been given as a part of the application that you've completed and you must make sure you provide all the evidence that's requested. Anything that you can't give for any reason, you must account for in a covering letter. I always recommend people prepare and attach a covering letter. Just setting out your case in simple English, make it easy for the fee handler at the home office. Standard service takes about six months for you to get a reply. All things considered, this could go longer or you could get a reply sooner, but there are priority services which you can consider if for whatever reason you need an urgent reply. It costs a few hundred pounds more though. If you do not meet the requirements of the application, namely you do not have the life in the UK test or evidence of your proficiency in English, then you can apply to extend your stay, which gives you an additional two years for you to achieve those qualifications. This can become quite costly, so naturally people prefer to just apply for indefinite leave to remain as soon as they are eligible to do that. But worst case scenario, you can buy yourself an extra two years to get those qualifications 
by applying for an extension. Currently the fee for that is £1,033. If you have watched this video through to the ending and you have found it informative, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel. I will be making regular legal content videos. If there are any specific issues you'd like me to cover, likewise, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll always uh, make sure I come back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.